Hi guys, this is Breaker, and I'm back with another replay that I took from the drop from the front page of Drop.sc. I'm trying to improve my casting as it goes. I'm trying to improve my gesticulation, my ways of talking, things of that nature. And I seem to have this kind of speech impediment where sometimes I'll talk in the middle of a sentence, then I think my mind tricks myself into thinking that I'm saying something wrong, but in reality I'm saying something the right way. So I just start the sentence over again. Kind of like possibly Jimmy from South Park. Just a little bit. But let me see if I can find that replay real quick. Oh boy, here we are. Okay, so now we should be at the loading screen. I have SCA the Cool Man, who is GM rank 15. Spawning as our Zerg in the lower right hand corner. Going up against a barcode Terran in the upper left hand corner. I'm thinking that perhaps, just perhaps, this barcode Terran was the guy that I was casting a few minutes ago. He was playing against Huangsen. At any rate, I know nothing about him. And I know very little about SCA. I'm thinking perhaps, just perhaps, they are an amateur team. I don't want to call that out wrong. But I know absolutely nothing about these guys. So what I'm going to do is, after this video, I'm going to go ahead and just Google the SCA clan and see what information I can find on them. I know that they have a good deal of players that are actually in Masters League, Grandmasters League, but that's no different from the clan that I'm in right now, which is EXE. We also have, you know, Masters and Grandmasters League players, but I myself am Diamond, and we'll take any league from Bronze to Grandmasters, really. And this is a... Okay, okay, okay. So Cool Man's just going for an extractor trick is what he's doing. At least, it should be what he's doing. Why is he letting that extractor finish? Oh, um, hmm. This is rather unorthodox. I will say that much right now. I don't know why he is doing this. He's uh, uh, he's taking gas, he, he, but he doesn't even have a pool yet. And Grandmasters typically don't make a mistake, so this is leaving me to wonder just what is he doing right now? What is he trying to go with for his unit composition? What is he going to try... And he's doing this off of one base, so this tells me that it's either going to be an all-in, or he's, he's going to do something that's going to hurt his opponent a lot, and then try and transition from there into a normal game. But at any rate, it looks as though we have a barracks and a refinery going down. So I'm thinking that, okay, yeah, once that barracks is finished, we're going to have enough gas to make a Reaper. And that'll be about 45 seconds afterwards, and uh, the Reaper will basically start its journey towards the Zerg's main... I'm wondering if perhaps, just perhaps, Cool Man thought that our barcode player was a Zerg player for some reason, and maybe he's gone with this very unique opener. I've devised my own opener versus Zergs at my level of play because I just, I really don't like ZVZ and I like to do as much damage in the early game as I can versus other diamonds, but versus Masters Leagues, that doesn't quite work. Alright, so there it is. Metabolic Boost is being researched, and of course, the SCV is being right clicked to head in this direction. And now the first Reaper is done and ready to go, but he hasn't jumped out just yet. He knows something silly is coming up, so he might have to stay at home to defend. He sees that, that with this SCV, he sees that there's a lot of workers. There's a single gas. There's something that's up. And right now, that just it's basically a play that makes everything that we see from our barcode Terran basically useless right now. Because he has such control over the map. He has such clutch control over the map, really. And I've seen, this isn't the first time I've seen an opener like this. I mean, I've seen it done in the Asia StarCraft League, but of course, a lot of those players actually come from the the Southeast Asia server, which has actually seen a lot of unorthodox play. Double Reapers are going to be able to deal with these Zerglings with such ease, really. And nothing short of the turn, but Metabolic Boost is about to finish up, so I'm thinking that means we could see our... Barcode Terran losing these Reapers, maybe, but no, they're killing too many Zerglings and they're doing it far too efficiently. And three Speedlings versus that many Reapers, it's just not going to work out. Look at that. Accounting skills. My accounting skills are trash, but it looks like we, we actually just see... Basically what the Reapers are doing here is they're killing Larva. They are not killing Lings. They are killing larva because these these are basically just a bunch of larva that are being turned into for the most part zerglings, not drones. And that micro, it's oh jeez, there it is. So now Cool Man can see what's up. He saw there was a factory that landed right next to that reactor. One Reaper does not go down. 
but goes down a little bit later, or excuse me, goes up just a little bit later than the other at the main. So Cool Man has a contain for the time being, I guess you could say, and until we see actually four full-blown Hellions come out of this factory, we're going to see Cool Man with some map control. But it's also worthy to mention right now that Cool Man is behind in the aspect that he only has, he's got 23 workers, his opponent has 25 and mules, so that's actually boosting his income, his income a lot. And adding to that, he's about to get his third orbital command ready to go. Albeit right now it's a command center, but you know, he's gonna morph it into an he's gonna turn it into an orbital command while it's in the main. Now these leans so painfully close to these Hellions. Neither player really aware of it. Overlord's been spotted here. So oh boy, but that's just oh boy, that's just not a good exchange whatsoever. And right now, Cool Man is really far behind, but behind this, he's actually going for roaches. If it's one thing that can help him hold, it will definitely be some I wanna say some very good defensive roaches. Now, we do have Stim going down behind this, and some Widow Mines in production. So this tells me that our main unit composition from Barcode here is going to be basically Widow Mine Marine, if you will. I think these Roaches, it's, it's a viable statement to say that they're just here for map control. They're just here to push the Hellions away. And they could be transitional, but then again, we could also have our Zerg reading in, reading into this the wrong way, or even going for an all-in timey attack. But with one gas, two gas, that's going to be a little difficult. He is trying to go for his third right now. That could simply but just be just take the role of a macro hatch, perhaps. And in the main, the natural, we're good to go. Four barracks on the way, starport as well, and this is basically making for the marine mar marine marauder mine medevac composition. It's I want to say it's a really really strong composition simply due to the fact that the marauders they do damage to armored, which is going to negate these roaches, and of course the mines they're going to deal with lings in large numbers. They can one shot any group of lings. And oddly enough, it looked as though the roaches there were targeting down the Reaper. Um, third is now finished up, and we have an evolution chamber, double evolution chamber going down behind this. I want to say that it's going to be really bad if we see the cool man actually commit to roaches here. It's just, I mean, the, the marauder count, it's not that big right now, but in the future, it will be. Adding to that, these four Widow Mines will be able to deal out splash damage on those roaches. We're talking maybe taking them down to about 30 HP or something like that. And then the Marauders can just basically two-shot those roaches from then on out. At least that is the predicted metagame, if you will. Five Hellions now... Oh man, they're, they're actually behind enemy lines. Is Owen Wilson in one of those? Sorry, yes guys, I did actually steal the... That quote from uh, the MLG casting duo Axel Lab and Axel Toss. But of course, they are also more renowned as the golf clap casters, if you will. Now, we do have Lings entering the composition as well, and that would actually be a rather wise idea, I think. We're going to need something to efficiently and cost effectively trip those Widow Mines. And now, there, it looks like. Double supply depots are going down, and workers are being pulled from the natural to the third. It looks like we actually have a viable window of opportunity for Cool Man to attack, and he's going to take that. The Lings are coming in from behind. The Widow Mines have already been tripped, but the Hellions here should be able to deal with that more than aptly. And the Lings are going to get one Marauder. They're going to get two. Oh, that is a clutch Marauder right there. Three kills, one HP. Martyr for his cause for the Terran Dominion, yes. But behind this we have a macro hatch going down for the cool man. And it looks as though he's going to be taking his fourth right now. That is the case presently. But cool man, excuse me, cool man's he's in a lot of trouble right now. We're going to see 
basically our Barco Terran pushing back. Able to kill that fourth and so on and so forth, but I, I just... Uh, is, he, is he even going to check for it? This would be the time to check for it. He knows, of course, at this stage of the game, the third is ready to go. But look at this around the Widow Mines. Oh, just looking like working a teeny bit against those Marines. But now the leftover units are all Queens. And versus this much bio, it's just not going to do a lot of good for our Zerg. The upgrades are not going to help too terribly much, but they make the difference right now. Pathogen plans being researched. That fourth macro hatch is going to be taken down along with the third here. Maybe. Medivac's OP, yo. But it looks like these drones are now being pulled and trying to get put on the fourth, the original fourth, thus revealing it. And that's just going to make it an easier time for our Terran, really, to take it down. So Cool Man, of course, in a lot of trouble. Can he come back from this? Yes. You can come back from any game of StarCraft that you have not been killed in, as long as you have income and a way to make buildings. But right now, I think if we just check the army supply, this is so far out of favor for our Zerg. It's not even funny. He's getting plus two, plus two right now. But behind this, we actually see plus two armor going down for our Terran. And the Widow Mines, I just think they're going to be too much. Where's all the army supply for our Terran, by the way? Looks like some of it is still in production. We do have a lot of Marines over here. And the third, I'm thinking, is probably... Yeah, it's going to fall. Kind of, but wait, wait, wait. Cool Man's not actually concentrated on the 30s. He's like, I got all the worker kills I want today. So I'm just going to try and end this game pretty soon. Transfuse going down on the drones. Most ironic situational use of Transfuse I've ever seen. I've actually done it myself before, more for BM than anything else, but yeah. And the Infestors have popped. They could fungal those Medivacs. That would help them out in future engagements, but that's about it. So now we actually have, I think, Cool Man in a bit of a, you know, he's, he's in a rough spot right now. There's no getting around that. He's going to have to hold his ground against all these Widow Mines, against all these Marines coming straight at him. There's no Marauders in the mix either. Scan going down, trying to get rid of Creep. Stacked Fungal Gross going down, but there's only a handful of Medivacs to deal with that. He does get a huge chunk of Marines just now, yes, but that's not going to stop the entire stream of them from coming in. Especially given the fact that he has such limited income. It's non-existent here. There it is. The GG from Cool Man. Our Barco Terran is victorious yet again. I think I might have just casted him. But at least this time around he was actually kind of mannered. So this is it guys. If you liked what you saw today. Just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Breaker. Catch you later.